Uh, Leanne, Honourable Leanne Delzeal. Thank you, Mr <laughs> Chairman. It is good to follow on from that member because uh, to hear him uh, extol the virtues of this legislation uh, due to the size of the, of the bill that we are um, debating, when one compares it to the size of the Law Commission report, and perhaps my colleague there could assist in just reminding the House, the substance of the debate ought to be around the recommendations of that report. It is that report that provides the evidence uh, that we um, should be debating in this House today, but we haven't been uh, debating at all. And I have listened to members, and I just want to remind that member, because he talked about the sorts of uh, promotions that used to be able to be had in on-licensed premises where people could drink all you like for these sorts, this amount of money, that you could have um, all these different promotions and on-licenses. But there is now a, there is a um, section in the Sale of Liquor Act, the current section, the Sale of Liquor Act, that prevents those happening um, in relation to on-licenses. This bill extends it to off-licenses as well. But I want to remind them, and actually he, won't, he doesn't need reminding, he needs telling, because he wasn't here when the 1999 legislation went through. Because in actual fact, it was a member's amendment to the sale of liquor bill that in fact brought into play that uh, promotions clause. And the member who moved that bill, that amendment, that supplementary order paper back in 1999 was me. And that's why I remember it. And I remember the Minister of Justice at the time telling the House to come down to the House and enter into the debate so, and, and, to, and to make sure they listened carefully. He gave me the courtesy of ensuring that my amendment was considered and was freely voted on in this House with people exercising their consciences on that provision. The Minister of Justice, who is now the Minister of Health, voted against my amendment. He voted against my amendment. Now, he did me the courtesy of ensuring that the Parliament heard the debate, and because there wasn't a whip applied to the different members of the House on that occasion, that amendment was accepted by Parliament and it became part of the law. So don't stand in this House and say that, it's, you know, that this bill is a good measure because it, ex it extends a measure that was introduced in 1999 from on-licences to off-licences. That on-licence provision wouldn't have been there but for members exercising their conscience and voting to support a very powerful and appropriate measure. I would have actually made sure that that amendment applied to off-licences as well. I hadn't been introduced to what they were capable of until this last 10 years. And we have observed the supermarkets and the uh, liquor industry following suit, because I blame the supermarkets for starting the ball rolling, they've dragged down the price of very, very cheap alcohol in this country in a way that simply didn't exist in 1999. So there were things that we could have done in 1999, but we didn't anticipate the degree by which commercial interests would drag down the price of alcohol to the extent that it is as dirt cheap as it is today. And that's one of the issues that I've tried um, to address with my SOP on minimum pricing. It's one of the issues that Kevin Haig has with his SOP on excise tax increase, and it's the um, issue that Marion Street has with her SOP on the question of point of sale health levy. And the advantage of the point of sale health levy, and I do commend that to the House, is that that enables the money not to go to the industry, but in fact to go directly to the health services that will sit appropriately with what should be a health measure, not a justice measure. And I hope that we one day yes. see the, the, health, the alcohol um, bill become um, an alcohol act that is supervised by the Ministry of Health and not by the Ministry of Justice. And I think that 
um, this Parliament would be doing a great tribute to New Zealanders who have suffered the consequences of alcohol-related harm. Mr Chairman. Phil Twyford. 